Hello, Ron here. I was just charging up some of my 9 volt batteries and I thought I'd make a little film. Uh, I post how I make a lot of gizmos and some some uh, observations about them or measurements but I never explained that I actually use these things for practical purposes. Uh, so what I'm doing today is uh, charging up some 9 volt batteries. They're alkaline batteries left over from smoke detectors. Uh, they had been in for a year, they beeped, I took them out. And uh, I recharged them using, uh, today, the In Inhotep Relay Charger Circuit. And this is the Imhotep Relay Charger Energizer. And it's basically a, uh, it's a car relay. I've taken the cover off, and I've uh, soldered an extra connection underneath the, uh, right on top of the contact where the flapper uh, hits the two contact points. Okay, I have a video on uh, more about that. Basically, it does the same thing a giant bedini does. Bedini, excuse me. It, uh, I'll show you the schematic. It uh, energizes a coil with uh, electricity. And when the coil is energized, it pulls the contact away. And that lets the EMF flyback take another uh, course to a charge battery. So it's exactly like a Benini circuit, a Bedini circuit, except it doesn't have uh, a moving uh, the moving magnets on a wheel to open a electronic switch, which is the transistor. It has a uh, actual spring switch. So it's an actual mechanical oscillator, which is the best way to really disconnect really super fast that uh, power and really get some good EMF energy going. So uh, I just had this battery hooked up. It's drifting back down. It's now at 8.72. And uh, I thought I'd connect up the uh, little buzzer boy here again. Do, 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 do. And uh, the circuit's now running, and you can see the energy that little uh, tiny auto relay coil puts out. It really pumps the energy into a small battery like this. It's quite powerful. Uh, I've measured the output at 44 volts and 20 milliamps, but those kind of uh, measurements uh, seem to be useless measuring the actual power output of something like this. It's very difficult to uh, quantify. But I can quantify the battery draw. It's about 55 milliamps here. And I'm using a battery pack which uh, this is rechargeable batteries. Uh, they're 2.5 amp hour batteries in this tiny double A size. And uh, this battery pack, of course, they're just a rechargeable, they're lower voltage. They're only, uh, this pack is only 10.5 volts at the moment. But it'll run this little energizer coil for a good 24 hours. I only need about two hours to recharge a battery like this if it was way down. Uh, looks like I'll only need about an hour today to recharge this particular battery. But these batteries are made for a conventional charger, and I can recharge them conventionally. These alkalines, I cannot charge conventionally. They have to use a pulsing circuit like, like a Jewel Thief or Fleet Generator or the Relay Charger or something on the order of a, a Bedini. Of course, this thing over here is way too powerful for such a small battery, so... That's why I chose the relay charger or auto relay energizer for this. And uh, I have it on a rubber grommet so it doesn't squeal. I think I've shown this another thing. You can you can tell it's running if you put it on a piece of wood. It's actually vibrating. So I put it up there so I don't have to listen to it. So that's my story. I actually use these things. They're useful. Make one. You'll like it. This is Ron.